Hey guys, this is Reichness, just a video showing you how to just enable display mirroring on your iPod Touch 4th generation, iPhone 4, and original iPad. Now with the introduction of the iPad 2, Apple introduced video mirroring with the HDMI adapter, or as I'm going to use today, the VGA to dock connector. Now, it's also, if you have a jailbroken device on 4.3.2, 4.3, etc., etc. You can also enable this functionality on your device too. So, in this video, we're going to show you how to do that, and it's very simple. All you need to do is make sure you have OpenSSH installed on your device. Uh, you, I go into Cydia and uh, and just uh, launching it and uh, installing OpenSSH, which is a free app. And then next, you want to um, make sure you've installed it and uh, find your IP address. The best way to do that is to install SB settings, which lets you just drag it down like that. And you can get access to your IP and not show it because it's got private. And next, you want to launch a uh, SSH client, which in my case it's Cyberduck. And just open that up. And uh, just let it load. There you go, and then uh, you'll end up in this folder. Now, what you want to do is hit Command Up, or go all the way up to Slash, as far back as you can, and then go to System, Library, and then go to Core Services. Uh, find it. Uh, oh, there we are. <laughs> And then go to springboard.app, and in my case, I put touch fourth generation. I need to look for the N81 or something, yeah, it's called the N81.p.plist. Now, what you want to do is get a finder window and copy this to your desktop because we're going to make a few changes to it. Let's drag it over. Let's go and just download it, and there we are, we're good to go. Next, we're going to uh, need to modify it, and to do this, you need to uh, download the plist editor for PC. I just Google plist editor for Windows. For Macs, I'd recommend I, for either purchasing it for $5 on the Mac App Store Xcode or just grabbing it off your install disk that came with your computer, and then with it. I'm, going to, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to use the Xcode plist editor. So I just double click, and then I get this screen. And what we want to do is this is the where every single functionality of the device is in here, like accelerometer, 720p, this uh, Bluetooth, everything that you want to do. For example, as I'm a jailbroken device, I want it to um, have the battery percentage, and also I have HDR enabled. But for this, in this, for this video, I want to add the ability to mirror the display. So we'll go to capabilities and click Add Child, and then we'll type display dash mirroring, and then we'll choose choose that to be a boolean value, and we want it to be true. And then we'll go and save this. So we'll just hit Command Q and save that and then what we'll do is we'll take the newly modified PS file and we'll drag it up to our um, SSH client and then it will load up and yes we want to overwrite it continue and then we're good to go and next you want to just uh, get your iPod and then um, either hold down the power button and turn it off or in my case with SP setting I just go drag it down and power and then hit reboot and then we can let it restart and um, we can get our mirror out, mirror out. Anyway guys, and this, I'll be back in a sec and I'll show you how to how it's done with the connections and so on. Alright, so now we're going to go set up the uh, connections to display our iPod's uh, iOS interface. So first we're going to take your VGA cable and your adapter here and we're going to plug them up very small, just kidding. In this case, I've hooked up to a de old Dell CR2T of oldie, but a goodie. I'm just going to turn it on. 
CRTs, they'll never die. And in this case, I've hooked up to a iPad dock, which works perfectly with iPod Touch, although it won't work with iPhone 4. And as you can see, we have the pass-through, and we can also get audio out through the uh, line out. In this case, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to take the VGA plug and plug into the iPod, the dock. And now I'm going to take my iPod Touch for generation, and I'm just going to dock it in. And let's see. Now, a couple of times it won't, it might not show up uh, but this time. Let's see. Yes, we've got interface. I just need to turn the brightness down. All the way. You might not be able to see that, but let's see if I can just close up. That. Uh, yeah, that's my iPod Touch mirroring its interface onto an, a VGA cable, and just like an iPad 2. And you can see I can scroll around, I can go drop it to apps, say music, and go up and down, do everything I like. Probably can't see that because it's too this too bright a screen. So if I can turn this down, or oh, there we go, there we go. Right, so now we can see scrolling around. Um, as you can see, I've actually uh, another thing I might want to mention is I can, I, which I'll show in a later video. I have installed some iPad-only apps like BBC iPlayer, Keynote, and Pages on my iPod and GarageBand. So, as to give you a demo, let's launch um, GarageBand. Obviously, you're going to look absolutely rubbish on this screen because it's they're not optimized. They're just meant for iPad and slots drums. Just wait for a sec, and then we can go, and you get the idea. And also, we can play video content. Let's say, let's say this episode of Doctor Who, the latest version, the Impossible Astronaut, one of the best I think so far. You get the idea, I can't show anymore, and just scroll through more, and there we are. So there we go, that's how you in so install and uh, enable display mirroring on an iPhone 4, iPod Touch 4th generation and iPad 1.